Thanks for sticking around and congratulating you on making to the final episode of the Looping Scrolling Text Animation Effect. In the first two videos, we have learned how to make the solid and hollow text bars and add a scrolling effect. And also add music to complete a dynamic switch between different scrolling color text. If you haven't watched them yet, be sure to click the link on the upper right to check them out. And that will be also much easier for you to finish this video. Now, let's add some more details to make this effect look more put together and excellent. First, we open VidiPro Vlogger. Find the project we saved last time. Double click to enter the main interface. We have already finished the color change of the text before, which looks pretty cool. But the background remains in a static white, and this can be a little bit boring. Thus, I would recommend you to prepare some background videos like this. Import them together into the software. Then, drag them together onto the video track. Now, we adjust the duration of each background based on the switch points of the different color tags. You can either keep the duration of one background for two color tags, or for only one color text. Adjust all the background videos based on your preference. Next, let's blend the text with the background. We don't need to do anything with the white background, just add the text bars that correspond to this background. Select one of them first. Go to the inspector on the upper right. Scroll down and find the compositing area. Select the dark and blend mode for it. We can see the change in the preview window. Next, apply dark and blend mode to all the text bars. Let's check the result. Doesn't that make the video more attractive? Now, the whole video is pretty much finished, but I want to add a logo to the video image. Drag in one of the logo image we prepared. Then, find the plus icon on the far left of the overlay track. Click it to add a new track. Drag the logo into the new track. Adjust the duration to keep it aligned. Next, I want to get a logo moving too. Thus, we find the motion icon in the toolbar. Click on it. Let's make some edits for the logo. I want a logo to have a slow zooming process, so we find a zooming preset. Click on it. This will automatically generate two keyframes. Let's click on the first keyframe. Adjust the size of the frame to make the logo in the preview window smaller. Then click on the second keyframe. Drag it to the last frame. Adjust the size of the frame again to make the logo in the preview window bigger. Let's preview the effect when finishing. It looks pretty nice. Click Apply to return to the main interface. Now you will find that the logo in the screen looks a little small. No worry. 
is click on the show or high layer rectangle to enlarge it a little bit. And to make sure the logo stays in the middle of the screen, we click on show runners to enable the runner. Then click on this icon. Move the mouse to the middle of the screen. You will see that the guideline will automatically attach itself, which makes it easier to find the center of the screen. Click the mouse again to build a guideline. Now it will be easy to adjust the logo to the center of the screen. Click on the eye icon to disable the guideline when you are done. Now we are done. Let's see the final result. Alright, that's all for today's video. And if you want to learn more about other adding tricks or what has been going on with VideoPro Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.